<laughs> okay, people, welcome back to another, well, I guess we're going to call this a Star Wars rundown, because that's what I do every now and then, when there hasn't been a lot of Star Wars, and then suddenly we have some Star Wars, I want to talk about it. Now, I'll probably be going over all of this again in a couple of days during the weekly. It'll be a lot more quick and snappy there. So if you want to skip this, which may be a bit rambly, I have no idea where we're going. So go ahead, go watch something else, and then come back around Saturday. But if you want to just sit and look at some pictures and think things through, do a little bit of pondering, I, hey, I, let's do that for a little bit. So this is the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series rundown for the... What week is this? For the second week of February 2022. Last week, though, they announced the... Uh, Walmart exclusive Boba Fett Tython Jedi Ruins and it's essentially some parts and pieces from other Boba Fett's with the chipped paint look. It said it was going up for pre-order last Tuesday. <laughs> it got to about time on Tuesday and they said, oh, I, I, no, no, we're going to come back around next Tuesday. That'll be the pre-order day. That along with a few other pre-orders happened and uh, it was on Walmart for a little bit. It think it's sold out now out of stock but it may come back around by the time this releases which is who knows i think it said february 3rd but that was last week do they mean 2023 because that seems to be the trend with black series lately then there's also the 32 dollars price point why <laughs> I, I think i've said this several times just why people are calling it the boba fett tax I don't mind the higher price for a deluxe or an exclusive if it's something that is unique, that's individual, that we're not going to see several times in other packages or different places. But then they also announced the Mandalorian Dark Trooper. This is an actual deluxe release and it has the deluxe price point of $33. But again, I don't mind that when we're getting something this badass, something this cool. Plus he's got a couple of blast effects. He's got his gun. He's got alternate hands, which we don't see a lot in this line. So it feels deluxe. And that's on top of the sharp sculpting, the oh so delicious glossy black. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see the full articulation range. You know what I mean? It's got the cool clear pins in it like we saw with K2SO. So it's kind of a floating effect in plastic form, but I want to see how far those elbows go. And I especially want to see the hips because it looks like the armor on the thighs crashes into the belt. So most of the shots have them standing there or shooting, you know, just kind of leaning. I guess that's consistent with the character or well with the droid, how it's portrayed in the shows. It's not doing a lot of high sidekicks or anything, but you know, <laughs> I gotta know. Throughout the years, I've made a lot of figures kick their own ass, and people feel like that's mandatory for me to enjoy it, which is not. That's not a requirement. But when it happens, it's, oh, like a sense of accomplishment. You did it, little figure. You kicked your own ass. But there's also the release date of May 2023 here. Why is it taking so long for it to actually come out? Are they hedging their bets? And if it does come out earlier, oh, hey, look, <laughs> we're working for you. We got stuff to you early. And yes, I know things are going on around the globe, but it doesn't seem like the other departments at Hasbro is having this much of a lead time. May 2023, I had to look at my debit card to make sure it didn't expire before then, because that is way out there. And I'm getting to that age where it's almost like, will I be around to enjoy that by the time it comes out? We don't know what's going to happen. But today is Wednesday. I'm recording this right after the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series stream. I was hoping for them to come right out of the gate swinging. Just hit us with a lot of new characters, some stuff coming up, things to be excited about. And they started with a, a, a new archive wave. Now I say it like that because to some people this is, hey, well, I already have these. I've been collecting this line since its inception and I'm not going to buy these again. These are stupid. We don't need them. But some people do need them. There's newer collectors that don't have these. Plus, these aren't part of the main line. They're not taking up any space. In fact, they're making more money off existing molds, which all toy lines do. And that's harder to do in Star Wars because of the property itself. And that's not me defending. That's just me playing devil's advocate with this line. There's not as much. They have to get more creative with their reuse 
with their reissues or not so much creative as in hey let's change up the packaging and maybe update it a bit because that's what we're seeing with the c3po we've seen this figure several times and i think it was tweaked at one point i'm not even gonna go through all the releases the one on my main shelf is the one that you can break apart that came with chewbacca i think it was an amazon exclusive it's got some dirtiness to it i like that this one's clean just in case you wanted that because it is an updated paint scheme and it looks more golden-y. Then we get to Skiffguard Lando, and I think somebody pointed it out on the Foosh forums. At Amazon has the original release of this for $21.99, which will probably be cheaper than this release. And I'm not seeing a lot of difference here. I think that first figure, was it photo real? If it wasn't, it was damn fine looking. In fact, I think people were using that head to swap over to the Bespin Lando before that reissue came out with photo reel it's dingar it's a bounty hunter and i think it's been a while since he's actually been offered in the line a lot of bounty hunter hype at the moment though so this makes sense he's no zuckus <laughs> that's an inside joke for the live streams the emperor is another good release because it's been a while since that first version and then was it 2017 i'm trying to use this as an armrest and it's not was it 2017 or was it 2019 i just remember being at a celebration and them announcing the version with the throne and the extra heads but that was amazon exclusive maybe harder to snag at this point and everybody needs a palpatine i would have liked to have seen this with those extra heads but it does seem like they got the better paint apps up on the face the package shot though could have been done better having that hood being way back now remember i am recording this on wednesday it's the day before these actually go up for pre-order so i don't have the full array of pretty promotional pictures and it says on shelf fall of 2022 which makes sense because the current archive wave is still shipping it, i still see it popping up on pegs around here then they went into something a little bit more new unique even though it is mostly reuse of the shirtless darth maul or more specifically the gaming greats gamestop exclusive jedi fallen order knight brother warrior what was that first one called this is the gaming greats gamestop exclusive jedi fallen order knight brother archer different skin tone different tattoo layout they were talking about the tampo a lot and the design and it looks good i like this game i enjoy variations on the darth maul design although i would probably go with a savage before I go with some Knight Brothers, but hey, again, reuse. They gotta make money on those molds. And even the bow, I didn't realize until looking at it right now, expands on the Darth Maul aesthetic, looking like a double-bladed lightsaber as the string of the bow. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> this will also be up for pre-order tomorrow or today if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, February 10th. But if I pre-order this, is GameStop gonna actually let me keep that pre-order because they canceled my first night brother and then sent me an email a couple of days later saying hey your order is about to ship and it hasn't because i got that email the month before too i mean what's the use of pre-orders if they're just going to cancel them that was it as far as song and dance goes as far as looking at several solicitation images and talking about it in depth at least for black series and i thought wait a second there's uh, other stuff in fact there's stuff that's been dropping this week that we didn't know about well we kind of knew about but didn't know it was going to be dropping instead they went into pipeline reveals and i usually say i don't mind pipeline reveals it allows them to give us a little peek at future plans but uh, future plans at this point is working two years out if that's the way they're going to do it i don't think i want to know hmm but the first pipeline reveals were also an archive wave so it's not like we don't know what it looks like in plastic form that's going to be han solo from the force awakens chewbacca from a new hope grand moff tarkin and princess leia in boosh disguise boosh bausch bahosh on the surface again archive wave oh no we have had these they're still available on ebay or at near regular price at least most of them and in chewbacca's case we've seen several releases of that version just with tweaked heads but we've never gotten a new hope version with some photo reel to the eyes and then han solo the first release of it <sighs> i don't know if i'll get it but again there's new collectors there's people who do like or do need every upgrade i gotta think the same for grand moff tarkin too 
was he photo real? I seem to remember his pain apps being fairly nice, but if they can give us more facial detail, maybe some liver spots or some shading or something, if nothing else, it's fodder for more Imperial officer customs. And then the same thing for Baush. Leo probably have some photo reel underneath and honestly, I lost the thermal detonator under mine. I have no idea where it went. I don't know if I want to pay full price again for a tiny, tiny little accessory that it will probably get lost to the carpet monster again but the options there then they did a pipeline reveal for future mainline black series figures and that'll be ayla secura darth maul from clone war season seven and saw guerrera i'll take all of these please thank you i think the word on the mean streets is that saw guerrera is a deluxe release which makes sense it's kind of a larger character he's got a very unique look hopefully there's some accessories to pack it out a bit and then we go from there. But then they did some updates for some previously revealed figures, which is where we come back around to what I was talking about a minute ago about, hey, stuff's dropping right now. What's going on? The Muddy Mudhorn Fighting Mandalorian that is a Target exclusive, they said, would go up for order near the end of March. It was sometime in March. Not pre-order, but order, which is what it's been doing for the past week or so. If you catch it on Target, it actually ships out now you know for a better ordering experience kind of like mine for the past week it's saying ship it ship it no refresh ship it no refresh ship it hmm. and then they went into wave 32 which I hadn't remembered them showing too many pictures of. I remember, I, like, mentions during live streams, maybe some solicitation pictures, but not the full array. It seems like this would have been a good time to get into detail, especially since these are going up for pre-order tomorrow. I usually make fun of, oh, it's an action figure of an old man in regular clothes, but it's the client. It's it's needed. Omega adds to the Bad Batch. She comes with her bow. She comes with her lizard. I, well, they didn't show that during the live stream, but then on Hasbro Pulse, they posted some pictures. I, well, at least on their Instagram and their Twitter, they posted some more pictures. Same for Echo, adding to the Bad Batch. In fact, is that finishing off that team? I think so. Ahsoka from The Mandalorian is one they could have really dove into because I think I remember it was the first picture we saw in package during the bounty hunter thing on starwars.com it was like a little bitty picture and then they may have shown it larger and it didn't look overly fantastic but pictures we've seen since then and during the live stream and on their instagram so much better Ooh, yeah a another need I, I gotta have this and then i had completely forgotten about the death watch mandalorian and while this does use a few parts and pieces from din there's a lot of new parts here too, or a lot of new overlays, some changes to some parts, and it's foosh blue. And they popped off with, uh, with a release date of early 2023. Uh, no, I just saw Jason at yakface.com posting pictures of his find from Target of this whole wave. What the hell is going on here? Again, are they managing expectations? It may be a situation like Wave 31, you know, with Boba Fett and Robes, Fennec Shan, that wave, where. Some trickled out last year, but a lot of people don't have them yet because it hasn't hit full force. This is February of 2022. If they're hitting now, are they going to trickle out for the next year? What is happening in 2022 if not these? Well, I guess Wave 31 will hit saturation at some point this year. And then some of the GameStop stuff, if they don't cancel out from under you, <laughs> who knows? And uh, Throne Room Boba, was that due out this year? And then... Uh, Cobb Vanth, somewhere in there, right? Who has been seen overseas? I think I, I saw some YouTube reviews recently. I don't know, it's so crazy. They're not going to be available for a year, but they're in the factories right now. In fact, they're getting shipped to Target in some capacity. Again, I get it. Global issues and, and shipping routes and everything. And if they gave a date of next week or they're being found now or, or something, again, that gets hopes up. And if it doesn't happen, then they're the bad guys. But at the same time, Holy shit. Going for a full year here. <laughs> that that kind of gives them villain status in a lot of collectors' minds and eyes. But at the same time, they're just toys. I may rant and rave a little bit, but at the same time, there's, there's other things out there. That's not me defending. That's just me 
I'm not trying to give myself a heart attack over a hobby that we all should be enjoying. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing this shit. That's bottom line. So I just keep on doing what I'm doing, you know, making some customs, picking up some. In fact, I think I got a Cad Bane just a couple of days ago because I saw an upgrade kit. Well, a Book of Boba Fett kit on John Walker's customs that I ordered. And I'll do that in the time being because customs make me happy adding new unique characters to the star wars shelf makes me happy seeing brand new reveals that blow my mind also makes me happy which i can't say about the live stream today i'm not saying it was bad i'm just saying it was not great it was just kind of filler got the team back in front of us got our minds on star wars for a second and then I guess we wait for the next live stream. So if you enjoyed this rundown, I probably should have been reviewing something, but I just wanted to ramble a little bit. Comment, like, subscribe. It's hard to do that sitting down. I'm so used to doing it while standing. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or in a position to help out the channel. Patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I'll always catch you on the foosh. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do it this way this time around. Uh, I swapped which lights are on. I have a underglow instead of a over the top. But when I did it and looked in the camera, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of nice looking. I'm hoping that transfers over to the actual video. It's different. Whatever.